opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. The king's gambit is an aggressive opening that starts with f4 white weakens their king side to attack the e5 pawn quickly and can develop with nf3. x4 captures the gambit pawn and opens up the center. bc4 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it attacks the f7 square and controls d5. nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the e4 pawn. nc3 develops the knight toward the center and protects the e4 pawn. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. This gives away a free pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. This lets the opponent capture a pawn to win material. This threatens to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. It is a miss. This defends a vulnerable pawn by pinning one of its attackers. It is excellent. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to add pressure on a pinned knight. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is good. This misses an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. The rook is now on an open file which helps control squares across the board. It is excellent. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This loses material. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to win material. It is a miss. This ignores a better way to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a mistake. Right on target. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is good. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. This removes a knight that was threatening to win material. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is best. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. Capturing that knight wins material. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is good. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to safety. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is good. This wins a queen. 
it is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. That was a free rook. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 